Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I'm bringing you guys a comparison video showing you some uh, comparisons and tests between the iPhone 4 and the Samsung Galaxy S3. And I know some people are going to say, you know, it's not really fair. You're testing a two-year-old phone to a phone that's two weeks old. But uh, this is just what I've gone from to what I've gone to, and I just think it's interesting. Um, I know the Galaxy S3 is probably going to come on top on most of the tests, but I just want to make this video to show you guys the differences between the two phones. So we're just going to start with a startup test. And so if we just turn both the phones on, and we just sit here and now we wait until they turn on. And this is always a long, awkward part of the video where people just ramble on and on until um, the phones actually turn on. And it always seems a lot longer when you're waiting for them to turn on than it actually does take for them to turn on. Oh, we have the AT&T logo popping up, Samsung, and then the Apple logo is still up. And we should be finishing up here soon. And the Samsung Galaxy S3 is done first. And so we're still waiting for the iPhone. And it's now done. Um, so it's not too big of a difference. Um, there's definitely a clear winner over here. Um, but when you're not, compa not comparing them, you can't really tell the difference, honestly. Um, I, I did notice that it was a little bit snappier um, first turning that on. But, you know, you have that new phone sense and you're just like, oh, you know, it's 10 times better automatically. Um, but when you're testing them by themselves, when you're just turning it on, you're really not going to notice that much of a difference. But side by side, this is definitely the winner. So we're just going to open them up. Unlock this one. Um, so we're going to open up the app switcher. There's nothing in the multitasking in either phone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, get a notification and or text. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is open Google Chrome on both devices. Um, I know some people use Safari and the default Android browser, but I don't like any of them. I use Google Chrome for both iOS and Android now. Um, so we're going to open them both up at the same time. We're going to see which one is faster. And Google Chrome opened up a little bit sooner. So we're just going to do a quick web test while we're here. New tab. Um, so we're just going to go to something like youtube.com. And these phones um, are not on any cellular data. And I have mobile data turned off. So they are working off the Wi-Fi in my house. So youtube.com, YouTube, okay. So we're going to go to youtube.com on both devices. So here we go. And it loaded up a lot faster on Samsung Galaxy S3. It's already loaded. Um, this one's still loading. Um, one thing is interesting though, that the iPhone does pick up better Wi-Fi and cellular reception in my house than the ga Galaxy S3 does. Or at least it seems so. Um, in the bars and the signal strength. Um, the iPhone has two bars of Wi-Fi and um, the Galaxy S3 kind of looks like it has zero, but I mean, it's getting Wi-Fi reception. Um, but that's one thing I've noticed. And sometimes I do get texts that do not send out um, when the Galaxy S3 is in my room, but I've never had that problem with the iPhone 4. So that's one thing the iPhone 4 might have over the Galaxy S3 is the antenna and how it actually works despite the whole antenna gate issue with the iPhone 4. So if we go back, and we will launch a um, simple app like Twitter. We'll launch it on both of them. Galaxy S3 launches first um, with the Twitter feed. And so, you know, obvious winner. The apps are a little bit different, design a little bit different, but I mean, the Galaxy S3 just loads its, loads its app faster. Um, for the next one, we're just gonna do a camera test opening up the camera and seeing how long it takes to actually open up the camera app. So we're gonna hold them up so you can see. And the iPhone might have fared a little bit better. I can't really tell from looking at it. Um, but if not, they're basically exactly the same um, as far as opening up the camera. And as far as taking pictures, um, you can tell the white outline on the Galaxy S3 is taking pictures um, a lot faster than tapping the um, iPhone taking pictures. And that might be because they has the uh, animation effect, but also just because it's faster processor and um, just a faster overall phone on the Galaxy S3 taking the pictures. And so for the last one, we're just going to open up a game. We will open up Angry Birds, and if I can find it um, on both devices. Um, so here we go. We're going to open up Angry Birds. Flip it around the right way. 
and we are ready to play on the Samsung Galaxy S3. And I know the apps, like I said before, are designed a little bit different, um, but overall the Galaxy S3 um, it loads it a lot faster than the iPhone does. So overall, moving throughout the device and moving through the home screen, I do experience a little bit of lag with the Galaxy S3, but you can't see it now because all the widgets are already preloaded. Um, you usually only have it after your phone's been locked for a couple of minutes and you unlock it. It lags just a little bit whenever you're flipping to a home screen with widgets, um, but after it's loaded, there's no lag whatsoever. And with the iPhone, um, you only experience lag whenever you go to, right there you saw it, whenever you go to Spotlight Search, you experience a little bit of lag. But you know, after that loads up, even itself, it doesn't really lag that much. Um, other than that, there's no lag at all because there's not really widgets. Um, you're just loading icons which are already loaded. Um, the only thing that lags might be Spotlight. As far as battery life between these two phones, um, the Galaxy S3 does drain a lot faster, but it has 4G, so you know it's a trade-off you're gonna have to deal with. Um, and then it's a bigger screen, you're lighting up a bigger screen. And so the battery on this does drain faster, but it gets me through the day. Um, but the iPhone 4, the battery uh, has decreased with its life over the past two years, um, but it does still get me uh, throughout the day with plenty of left, left over. Um, so even with constant use, I still have plenty left over with the iPhone 4. So the last thing I want to compare are just the screens. Um, it's like night and day. You can almost fit the whole iPhone inside of the Galaxy S3 screen. And that might be a little bit exaggerated, but you know, if you had a Galaxy Note, you could probably fit both these phones in there. Um, but th that's just a whole other subject. But I really enjoy the bigger screen on the Galaxy S3, more screen real estate, and just being able to um, put more icons and just the customizable stuff. Um, I just really enjoy it. And as far as I can tell, the apps the, and the icons look great. They just look just as good on the iPhone 4. Um, I don't know if they're Retina, um, but I know this does have an HD display, at least a 720 display. I'm not sure of the exact specs um, off the top of my head, but um, I just really enjoy this bigger screen a lot more than the 3.5 inch screen on the iPhone 4. And um, supposedly they're going to upgrade on the iPhone 5, but that is yet to see, yet to be seen. Um, but I think it's going to be it for this comparison video, you guys. I just want to show you a couple of tests and compare the devices in a couple of different areas, showing you what I've gone from to what I've gone to. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, this is the first video shot on the Canon T3i, and I'm using the Rode mic to capture some audio. Um, so let me know what you guys think of that setup down in the comments below. And also let me know what other videos you'd like to see um, featuring the Galaxy S3 or the iPhone 4. Um, maybe a comparison test with the iPad 2 thrown in there. Um, whatever you guys want to see, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below. So like always, thank you guys for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.